what's going on? I know y'all see the beard look a little different. But uh, first off, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, comment, like, share, dislike the videos if you dislike the videos. But what you're going to see in the next video or the this video, it's just going to be after the, you get with it. It's just my way of getting the crispy line up, the white line that everybody looking for. No, it's not the only way. It may not be the best way, but it's the way that I do it. So here are a few steps that will help you if you are looking for a way to get that crispy line up that white line that ash line here's one of the ways that can do it let's get to it how'd jeezy do it ah. let's get to it as y'all can see you can see me hopefully y'all can see me i'm trying to in my crib with my little light or whatever but i'm just gonna kind of talk about the steps that i take to get that crispy lineup and like i said at the front of the video it's not the only way but it's the way that i go about doing things and of course this is after you done got the haircut so this is a video that y'all probably have seen already i think it was either my last video or one of my videos before this that i had posted um but this is just me cutting the hair um, so of course before you do do the lineup you want to get the hair cut you want to cut it down to the length that you're looking for or even if you're not cutting it down whether it's a taper you know an afro this is me just prepping the front of the line I'm taking that whatever let's say I cut it down with a one and a half I want to take that one guard just at the front of the hair line to kind of nudge down the front of the line help everything lay down for a better lineup process you know what i'm saying now this is a step that i actually learned from hunt the barber if y'all know hunt down in nashville um i don't know if he was the first one to do it but that's who i got it from um and that's just putting the the uh barbasol uh, shaving cream on the head kind of soften the lineup uh and that's what i do first also this is after I done washed it, if I am washing the client's hair. So this is just me putting a little bit on my hands, just putting it on the lineup. Now, if you want to put it on the beard, you can put it on the beard as well. I, most of the time, I just do it on the lineup, uh, as you can see. Now, you don't need this much. I'm gonna put in a few other clips where I don't put that much on, you get what I'm saying? So whether they got a wave, a uh, wave haircut, uh, they got a nappy hair, uh, Caucasian. This is my step uh, by, at all times. And once you follow your routine, you don't want to change that. I'm going to follow that up with a hot towel from my hot towel steamer, right? And we're just going to lay it on the forehead, wrap it around. However you wrap it around is how you wrap it around. But I kind of just lay it on the head because I'm just wanting to heat up the, the, the front. That's going to help soften. That's going to help clean debris off of the front of the hairline as well. So I put that shaving cream on. After I do the shaving cream, I put a hot towel on. Um, you don't want it too hot. You know what I'm saying? You can get it hot, but you don't need it too hot. But that's my process, right? Sometimes I got the little babyless, uh, the hand vibrator as well. Uh, or I can just, you know, I kind of just rub on a temple. Again, that's out, while I'm doing that, that's leaving the client. They feeling something is going on, but that's also me getting some of that, um, that shaving cream off the head where I'm not leaving so much, before, you know, that I need to wipe off. So I'm going to take the, the, the hot towel, just wipe off the excess of it again and this is where i put the hot towel on the beard again soften the skin before i hit it with the lineup right now if you've done that you can use your i use a razor edge i can only really find it on atlantabarber.com or on amazon but there are a lot of lining sprays out there i think get beam is actually working on one uh, you can use the hairspray technique if you want to. The reason I don't use the hairspray as much is because it can sometimes clog up the trimmers. And when you got your trimmer set right, you got the perfect trimmer in your eyes, you're not trying to have nothing mess that up, right? And again, this is after I have already washed the hair if I am washing the client's hair. And then we're gonna blow dry it with cool air, not hot air, 
that hot iron can kind of, especially depending on the product that you use on the head, it kind of cakes it up and it, it leaves it a little too stiff on the hairline. So you want to blow dry it with cool air to make sure that everything is clean. Make sure that the, the, the matter of fact, you want to make sure that the client, the client is comfortable, right? So after I done put that on, I blow dried it. Um, my next step is to make sure that my process is um, in order. Now, the reason I'm showing this clip here is because sometimes while um, if I don't, let's say I don't blow, let's say I don't blow dry the front of the hair, right? While I'm letting that dry naturally, letting it dry uh, from the from the air in the shop, I'm gonna go ahead and line up the back of the neck. I'm gonna do the back of the beard. I'm gonna line up the mustache and I'm gonna let that dry naturally. You know what I'm saying? That's just the process sometimes. Sometimes, depending on the, because even on the back of the neck, if I'm if I'm waiting for the front to dry from the the um, the razor, I mean the, the yeah the razor edge or from the shaving cream or the hot towel, I can go ahead and taper the back of the neck. I can line up the back of the neck, and that can give me extra time to make sure that the process and make sure that everything is completely dry and everything is completely laid before I actually put my trimmers on the, uh, the person's skin. And now once that I got the client dried off and everything is uh, the way you want it to be, I got the right trimmer set. So now it's time to actually uh, achieve that lining that we're looking for. Um, a lot of people looking for that white lining, that white ash mark. You don't even need to use all these steps. A good hair wash, a good set of trimmers will let you be able to get this ash line. But that is the line. There is no chalk on this in, on this client right here. No chalk used. The, the steps that I just showed you in this video is how I achieve this lining and still leaving that ash mark behind where I don't have to come behind with a pencil. Um, this is even before the razor, right? Into let's say that person wants to leave that natural line on it you can still hit it with the alcohol or whatever uh and you want to make sure that you hit it with the alcohol but you don't have to rub so much into it where they can still keep somewhat of that ash line on their lineup because some people like that you know what i'm saying i know a lot of barbers will tell you if you leave the line up on people like that and, and yes, maybe at times some people can do it or go, go overboard. That's with everything. Enhancements, anything. Sometimes people can just go a little too beyond the natural um, look. So, but if that person wants to keep that line on there, we're just, we're just going to, the, the client is always right, right? So here we are, another client showing that same process after I have done them, them steps. And again, once you have your steps in order, your routine in order, nothing can really knock you off of what you're trying to achieve. So these are my steps that I use for the majority of my clients to get that um, nice crisp lineup. I don't want to say perfect lineup because there's no such thing as perfect, right? Especially uh, if you're recording your cuts, Sometimes you can look at your haircut after you get done cutting it and you step back You'd be like I got that mother lover, right? You take a picture or you record it. You look at it oh, Shit look different sometimes in the camera. I promise you it do and that's why I say to everybody new client I mean new barbers OG barbers if you can Take pictures of before and after record that's gonna help you keep um an eyesight on what your growth actually is right i'm um, not saying that anybody need to grow but keeping an eye on what you are achieving and what you're doing will help you in the long run that's just my tip right and if you want to buy anything from stylecraft because the stylecraft flex is my number one trimmer right now if you want to buy anything from stylecraft make sure you use my discount code cuts by reggie save you some money and get you some nice product uh, in, in the process. And I do want to say again, because I know somebody's in the comment, they're going to be like, you don't need to do all that. And you don't. 
That's why I say this is just one of the processes that I use to help achieve that lining. If you got some good trimmers, you can achieve that effect, right? You washing the person's uh, hair, you can achieve this effect. This is just my steps that I do, and this is just what I've been doing over the past years after I have learned a few things from watching other people, putting in my own techniques, and just combining these steps from me, Hunt, Get Bean, Jeezy, Wavy Kid Kev, Tank Be Chopping. No matter who I'm watching, I'm always watching to see if I need to or want to try something different from another barber. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with saying that you getting um, tips and ideals from another fellow barber. That's 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 growth in our our industry. These trimmers here are the Veloc trimmers from Coco. I will have a review on those dropping very soon, um, but you can see the process that we got going on right now. Still leaving that mark behind that you want to leave. Um, as long as your trimmers are set, uh, I, I, I don't see anything. I don't drop my phone. <laughs> you can achieve that look. Now, in the comments, let me know if you have tried the, uh, what they, I want to say, I guess the shaving cream method, the hot towel shaving cream method. And how do you like it? Or, or, or what are some tips that you can give to me? You know what I'm saying? I always used to say that we are class, class might, class mates learning together. So um, if you have some tips to, 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 show, to show me, please let me know by all means. Hit me up in the DMs. Put it in the comments for everybody. Let's let's grow together. You know what I mean? These these trimmers right here, boy, they are soft. And once you got you a good trimmer, it's hitting right. Uh, it's hard. It's hard. I, I actually dropped one of my uh one of my flex trimmers, man, and it was it was terrible. But those are the steps that I use. You know what I mean? Hopefully that helped somebody. Um, uh, uh, in the long run of learning a different step. Look at that. Good God almighty. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, comment, like, share, dislike the videos. That mother lover right there, that thing crispy. God. Crispy. Another one. What, 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 what Khaled say? Another one. You know what I mean? Another one. Getting that ash mark. None of these cuts has enhancements in it on this video. Now, I do use enhancements, but none of these cuts are enhanced in this video. Now, if you've seen these cuts on, on my Instagram, I probably did enhance them. But as you can see, no enhancements. Please subscribe to the channel. And we out. Peace.